Hello, welcome back. Um, it's Monday morning here. Uh, I did go to Charlotte this weekend, um, but it was pretty much a rain out. I'll probably put a little uh, picture up of what the map looked like. Uh, it was a rain out this weekend, really no haul video. I uh, went to a few Goodwills while I was down there in an estate sale. And uh, I mean, I got a few things, but it, it's not worth really taking your time up to show you. Um, Going to go over a few things that sold. Uh, I'm probably going to mention uh, a couple of uh, yard sale type tips I think we're going to go into today. Uh, I want to kind of make a little announcement. I, I'm probably not going to do any more at this point uh, on the unboxing, on the vinyl. Actually, I probably am going to do unboxing again at some point because I like the whole idea of it. Shows you how other people ship. It gives me an opportunity to help out other resellers. So it'll come back at some point, but for right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and put that on the shelf for right now. Um, but let's go over the things that sold. And like I said, I'm going to hit a chip with a, a couple of yard sale tips. And hopefully this video will be a little shorter than some of my others. Um, I got the screen here in front of me, so I'm just going to give you the prices. It's, it's not a lot of what sold. So uh, We sold this Robert E. Lee Harley Davidson. It's a Richmond shirt. Uh, even though I'm in Virginia, I'm on the other end of the state from Richmond. Um, we got, uh, looks like about $15.99 free shipping. Uh, this was a dollar, $2 t-shirt. Uh, I remember where I got it. I got it at the, the Salvation Army. I just can't remember if she charged me a dollar or two dollars, but, uh, that, you know, pretty good little sale. Didn't take too long to sell. Um, sold this, uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren, uh, polo ralph loren and i don't know uh, i don't know the difference between the difference in that but anyway paid i, I know i paid for this this was a two dollar shirt uh, uh the place i there's a place i go to on tuesdays and wednesdays that have a two dollar clothing uh it looks like we got about about again once 15.99 free shipping because it shows 16.73 so that'll be with tax so um i feel what i'm gonna do another announcement um, I've been doing the sell stuff, the coupon sell stuff, um, since about October, November to kind of see what was going on. And we'll probably, this one runs out around the 20th of April. So that'll probably be the last coupon sell I'll do. I'm going to go through and the stuff that I've, I've listed since then, I'm going to mark down some stuff. Uh, but we're not, I'm only going to do, I'm going to try for like two months with no coupons and see see if there's a major difference one way or the other because it's not like the coupons are really helping kill my sales up so there's no use running the sales if if it's not going to do that i'd rather just uh mail special offers and stuff like that to customers that's just that's just me um we sold this game and watch gallery three uh from game boy uh looks like we got about uh 11.99 free shipping out of this um Bought a bunch of stuff a while back. Bought two Game Boy uh, uh, SPs and stuff and some games. And this was in there, so I listed it separately. Cute little game. Um, $11.99 free shipping. Um, sold this catalog here. This uh, Ford manual catalog. Uh, let's see what, about what we got. Looks like we got about uh, $17.44 free shipping out of that. Um, this one's in pretty darn good shape. That's why I... Uh, I kind of listed a little bit higher. That's the thing with these manuals. I've, I've learned kind of if they're in really nice shape, I want to list them a little bit more because people are willing to pay for one that's in better condition. As you can see, the spine and stuff's in pretty good condition. These manuals have done pretty well for me. That and they've, they've surprised me. I actually bought this off of the guy I do some other stuff with. This is now the, either the free bin I got or even the $2 bin I got. Uh, but these have surprised me, these Hanes especially. So if I'm at a yard sale and I see these, you know, fifty cent or dollar, I'm gonna pick them. Some now, not all of them are good, but more of them are good than I thought would have been good. I was thought I, uh, I would say at least probably a sixty percent, seventy percent rate I could list of what I could list. Uh, you would think with the uh, the internet and YouTube and all that those those wouldn't come in handy, but you know if you look at those catalogs, they break it down just really part by part. Uh, they're really um, sp specific. And if you're working on a car, you know, you can't always stop a video, stop a video, stop a video. 
So that, the book still really does come in handy. Some people just love that physical experience. Um, even though, you know, I think actually what's going to happen, this is a little side here. Um, a lot of these streaming services, I've been watching videos on them. And eventually, I think they're going to lean down what they have on their streaming services um, to make profit. Because that's what they're into it for anyway. They're into it for profit. And I think what we're going to find is if you know, if you really want a movie or something, you're probably going to have to go back to physically buying some of them. So that's just, that's something I see in the trends. Uh, you know, like now if it's Netflix and it's a Netflix original, it's going to be on Netflix, okay? And it's something you're going to have to run out and get a DVD of. I'm talking about more classics. Anyway, back to this. Here's Ariat. This is always a good brand. Uh, it's a large, tall. We got uh, $24.99 free shipping out of this. I, even after the discounts, I had it about $27, $28. Bucks. We got $24.99 free shipping afterwards. Um, got this Virginia Tech. This was a, a dollar day sale when we had dollar days. It's a red oak, but it's Virginia Tech and stuff. Uh, I got, it uh, looks like about... Fourteen fifty free shipping out of this. Uh, like I said, this is, you know, don't discounts too, but we had a dollar, so it's no big deal. Um, we also, last thing really here, clothing-wise, I think about the last thing we got as a whole. This is Polo Rifle Ren. Almost like the other shirt. This is purple. The other one was purple as well. Uh, so the purple striped shirts, and these, that one was a 16 and a half. This is a large, so we're both still talking largest. So large stuff does sell. The, it's just, it's about colors, designs, names, you know, other sizes will sell. All these, nothing here today is a big size item. So for when I say I sell big size items, I also sell regular size items too. So that stuff still moves too. But uh, we got a total of, one more time striped so it looks like about about you know 15 again on this um but anyway that was that's all the sold this week really been a slow weekend i did try to list some when i was on my trip but didn't really help much but uh i want to throw out a couple tips to you uh when you're out yard selling you might want to use um first of all one thing you might want to do um, is, okay, say if you're unsure of something. Uh, now, like I said, I don't recommend you sit there and, and, you know, look up, look up, look up, because you're just going to kill your time. But say you're unsure on something. I always ask, can I take a picture and send it to a friend? But I look at an uh, eBay purchaser as one of your best friends. So I'm not saying who in specific, just say a friend. So, oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. They'll, they'll let you take a picture. They don't care. And then you can you can look it up. That gives you kind of a minute to look it up. And uh, that's just something I've done in the past. Uh, like I said, I don't look up a lot of stuff when I'm going around. Um, another thing I was thinking about, I don't wear... Uh, I notice sometimes when these people... I do watch the videos of them going around different yard sales... They, they got an eBay shirt on. They've got a Mario shirt on. Different stuff. This is the type of shirt I will wear, not with the Patagonia, but uh, an indescript type shirt. Uh, I'm looking to blend in when I'm at a yard sale. I'm not looking to stick out in a yard sale. I'm not looking to look like a reseller. Um, I, I kind of have a... I, I know the, the person is controversial, but I kind of have the whole... Uh, there's an episode of the Cosby show where Bill Cosby, he goes in to buy a car and, you know, he was a doctor on the TV show. So he just dresses up like a regular person trying to get the best deal. Of course, people rat him out and he doesn't get the best deal. But the point of the matter is don't make yourself stick out because a lot of times nowadays people don't price their stuff. And um, the thing about when they don't price their stuff, they'll look at you Got the eBay shirt. He's got a Nintendo. Oh, you reseller. You like to do this? You like to do that? You keep it in the script. They'll throw out a price and you go. Um, I, I like to, and also with yard sales, I like to go ahead and move on. Um, get to your yard sale, look around and go. But you don't want to be too fast. I've been to yard sales where I watch, watch a guy, and it's always guys for some reason. I watch a guy, he'll literally come running in, go to the sale and go, Y'all got video games here? And literally, then they say no, he'll take right off. 
And I'm like, you you know, you might hit lucky, but it's a lot. That's a lot of time wasting and stuff. And you're walking by a lot of money, potential money, because there's a lot more than video games in this world uh, that that will pay bills. Um, and now along this video game line, and this this will be it. We'll, we'll go ahead and wrap this up with this. But I will give you two different stories, and and this is don't always judge a book by its covers. The final tip. The thing I have noticed, I went to a yard sale one time. It's been a couple years ago. But uh, I looked up the address, and then, then I got there, and I looked up, and it was a little bit of a hill. I'm a big guy, and I don't love going up hills. I don't know many people really like walking up hills. But I looked up top of the hill, and there was a bunch of baby strollers, baby items, that type of stuff. Well, I'm not looking to buy baby items. That's not my thing. But I was like, drove five miles to get here. And I probably had to drive five miles to get back to where I was going. And I was like, it was later, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I said, like, well, I'm here. I'm going to go look. So I go up the top of the hill and look around. And sure enough, there's really not nothing there that much. And I seen a couple of PlayStation 1 games. Now, they weren't anything, you know, anything that great. And one of them was in a long box. And I really should have grabbed that just for the nostalgia. But, uh, it, you know, I wasn't thinking about it at the time. Because something better happens. So I'm kind of picking up. And I look down. And I swore I was like, is that a Super NES? And Okay, I'm going to pull it out. There's a box underneath. Pulled out the box underneath. And there was a Super NES. And about 8 to 10 games. Controllers. All the hookups. And um, I asked the lady. I said, is this for sale? And she said, oh yeah, this that's for sale. Uh, I said, what do you want? She said, it's $20. Okay. That twenty dollars was okay. One of those games alone uh, was twenty dollars. Now there wasn't any home runs in there. There wasn't any big games in there. But probably I made between seventy five and a hundred dollars profit on everything because this was before the big COVID boom and all that uh, of games. This was prior to that. It'd been probably twenty nineteen, twenty eighteen when I found this. Uh, but I still did really good, and it's because I didn't go by and go baby strollers. This is baby junk. Let's hit the road. I didn't do that. Second of all, I pulled. I went to a yard sale one time. It's an older lady running that. And she asked me, she said, what are you looking for today? I said, well, I look for video games, this, that, and the other. And she said, I don't think we got any of that type of stuff here. I said, okay. So I see a box of DVDs. I can't tell you how many times when I look in a box of DVDs, there's a game in there or two games in there. Anyway, looked in there, and sure enough, there was four games in there. They were Wii games. There was a Mario Kart. It was Super Mario Brothers, the the red red one, uh, a, a Family Dollar. And I remember this three years later, and something else. I can't do. I can't remember the last one. And um, it wasn't Family Dollar. What was that? A family Feud. And um, anyway, I asked her. I said, "Well, you got a few games here." And she said, "You're right. Those were my grandson's games." And I said, well, what are you asking for? She said, well, I got 50 cents on the DVDs. You can have those for 50, 50 cents. Well, $2, I got Mario Kart, Super Mario World, the Worlds. I, I just grabbed all four of them. I can't remember the fourth one. It probably wasn't any good, but at 50 cents a piece, I'll grab a game sometimes and, and bundle it up uh, with some other uh, Nintendo Wii. So just don't always judge a book by its cover either on yard sales. Um, but that's all I've really got for today. Shorter, uh, it's a shorter video today. Uh, I hope I find some stuff. We've got a better weekend supposedly coming weather-wise. So hopefully we'll have some good yard sales. Take care.